Man cannot live by bread alone, but add a few slices of chicken or turkey deli meat and you've got a meal. Poultry deli meat is a popular alternative to corned beef or salami, and that's because it's less fatty any way you slice it. When it comes to making poultry deli meats, it's all in the seasoning. From fiery southwestern turkey to hot sauce marinated chicken, they really know how to spice it up. They begin with plenty of filtered water. It will be used to disperse the specially formulated seasonings. There's a different blend for every product, and they include salt and different herbs and spices. They add honey because this is a honey maple recipe. And while that's all being mixed, they check the temperature of the raw poultry to confirm it's in the safe range. If it's even slightly off, there's a risk of bacterial growth, so the whole batch would have to be rejected. But this poultry has been well chilled. The stitch pump machine's long steel needles repeatedly inject seasoning solution into the breast meat. Excess liquid drains through the conveyor as the chicken is transferred to a holding area to marinate for at least two hours. Next, numerous lumpy rollers massage the chicken and break down fiber to tenderize the meat. Then, in a tumbler, metal paddles vigorously knead the meat. This tenderizes it even more and releases a natural protein that will eventually bind several breasts into one big piece. Meanwhile, in the turkey kitchen, workers shape and season previously marinated meat and apply strips of bacon to the top. The employee arranges them in a crisscross pattern for full coverage. He dusts it with a mix of seasonings and then wraps it in thick plastic. Once enclosed in the plastic, he can press the turkey breast into a more perfect shape. For a different flavor, they drench some turkey breasts in a spicy southwestern marinade. After folding the turkey meat to the desired shape, the worker adds salsa and seasonings to complete the recipe. A little more hand shaping and it's ready for the oven. Back on the chicken line, it's the same idea, but with a different twist. Chicken breasts are too small to shape by hand, so they funnel them into thermoformed plastic molds. As the molds move forward, a worker sprinkles spices onto the meat, while another swabs juices to test for pathogens, as part of a quality control program. Equipment heat seals the plastic molds and then cuts them free from the matrix. Then they're on their way to the smoke oven. They spend six hours smoking at 74 degrees Celsius. The protein released earlier by kneading causes the chicken parts to adhere and take the shape of the mold. Once they've been temperature checked, it's on to the next station. Here, workers peel off the cooking mold and drain the excess juices. Then the molded breasts go through a fryer. The hot canola oil browns the outside of the chicken meat for a more appealing and tasty effect. Meanwhile, workers squish other cooked chicken breasts in hot buffalo wing sauce to really kick up the spice a few notches. And after extra seasoning, the chicken travels through a long arc of electric heat rods. This is a special convection oven Fans blow the heat from the rods onto the meat to complete the cooking process. By now, the turkey deli meat has also been thoroughly cooked and crisped. They transfer the turkey-filled bags to clam-like devices which close around them. Inside, a vacuum sucks out the air to shrink the packaging around the turkey and keep it fresh. It's taken about eight hours to produce this poultry deli meat. Refrigerated, it should last about 35 days. Unless there's a hungry crowd. <laughs>